Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is James running Staters with free magnetic energy dot info and youtube.com forward slash free magnetic energy two. That's number two. Um, today's uh, video here is about my infamous um, contoured magnetic runway plates. Um, it's just become an incredible sensation on the web in the science community. Uh, when I last checked about a year ago, there was over a million references to my research on this contoured magnetic runway plate concept. Well, it's more than a concept, it works. The same way that static electricity uh, always is drawn to the closest point, magnetism is also always attracted to the closest point. Unless, of course, there are like poles involved, and of course, the like poles repel each other. But in the absence of like poles, magnets always attra are attracted to the closest point of an object that is of the opposite, or steel, or um, uh, iron. So, what I'm going to show you here is that I have a contoured magnetic runway plate means a contoured plate. Let me take this off for a second here. This is a half inch piece of um, plexiglass. Here is this plate here. This is contoured. You'll see that the plate lays perfectly flat here at the end and slowly surely you see it curves upwards. Now I have this board here to keep this curved because if I take the board out the plate will start to lay flat again. And here, you'll see there's nothing underneath this. I'm doing this because there's a lot of trickery out there on the web. And if you look underneath here, there's nothing there. It's, these are cutting boards. Down here is just junk parts and stuff I use, you know, to build my stuff with. Okay, so, and this is steel. This is steel plate. I don't know, it's probably 16th of an inch thick maybe. I'm not sure. Anyway, and let me, and you'll see that the the plate here is lower. See, it's un, it's basically going underneath this uh, cutting board, and over here it's on top of the cutting board. So there's it goes uphill, if you will. But these cutting boards here, from here to here, are basically basically level. So when I put this big piece of plexiglass on top, this plexiglass is basically level. Okay, so, and in fact, this side, the plexiglass over here, is just a little bit lower, because this is a little bit thinner here, than this one here, because this is just a little bit thicker. So, this is a little bit uphill. Not to mention that the plexiglass is on top of the steel here, which makes this even more of an uphill. So, this is not perfectly level. In fact, I have some brass balls here. Um... I'll get one of these brass balls out. I put this brass ball up here. Should roll from left to right. Whoops, it's rolling towards me. Well, anyway. Anyway, it, apparently the thing is leaning towards me. So, but from right to left, it is uphill. I guess this entire table must be unlevel then. So, now what I'm going to do here is with the these uh, magnets here. These are neodymium uh, one inch by half inch cylinder magnets. There's two of them stacked on top of each other with a plastic spacer in between. Makes them a little easier to get apart. Now, like I was explaining, static electricity is attracted to the closest point. So are magnets. Now if you notice underneath here, there's a space right here. And you can see the steel. And you can see the steel lift off the table, get closer and closer and closer. And finally, it's up against the the bottom of this half-inch uh, plexiglass. So, when I release this magnet here, what it should do is that this magnet should roll from right to left. Okay? And it's going to keep rolling until it gets closer, and until it finds the closest point of this steel here. So, let's see if this little demonstration here worked. It should. Yep, there you go. Okay? So... This magnet, the reason this magnet rolled from right to left is because the metal is further away here and it's closer over here. 
Now, I'll do it one last time, and then I'm going to make the magnet, I mean make the steel plate level. Okay, let's do this again. And you can see it's, it's doing exactly what it should be doing. Now, I'm going to take this board out, I mean this cutting board. Now, I'm just going to take this out because we don't need this cutting board anymore. And now, this steel is laying squished flat. You can see it's flat underneath there. Okay, and I'm going to bring this magnet down here to the end again. I'm going to let it go. And you'll notice this should not do little to nothing now. Okay, see? It doesn't even want to move unless I push it. See, it got to push this thing. Anyway, so you can see that unless it's set up the way I just had it set up, this is not going to do anything. So the whole point behind a magnetic runway plate and use them as a stator is that when you have a series of magnets on the wheel, they'll naturally be attracted from the, this point all the way over to this point if the plate is curved and furthest away from the magnet and then gets closer and closer and then at the closest point that's where the magnet will race to. So thereby it gives it forward momentum. So that's the whole principle behind magnetic, my magnetic runway plates. Now the thing though is that you have to make your runway plates at the end um, neutral in that there's very little attraction at the very tippity tippity end. This way when it gets to the end the magnet will keep on going and just roll right on past. And this is the principle behind making a self-running magnetic engine. Um, so what I've done with my, con my um, uh, James Roney stators, I use some of this principle inside of my stators uh, in that, so this doesn't have much of an attraction at the end, but it has attraction on this side and you don't need a long runway plate. And, but you can go watch my video uh, called the, uh, um, the Secret of James Running Stator, Staters Revealed. Um, anyway, that's it. I wanted to share that with you here. It's so, so important, but so simplistic. Sometimes in science, sometimes the answers are so simplistic, they get overlooked. And one thing has been overlooked for the longest time, I truly believe, at least I believe, and I'm not asking you to believe me, but I truly believe I know exactly what gravity is and the makeup of gravity. And if that's the case, then that means I would know how to tread Earth's gravity. Anti-gravity devices are a joke because anti means opposite, and as you know, opposites attract. I'll close in saying this, that Einstein said something very interesting about gravity a long time ago. In so many words, he went on to say that the day that the formula for gravity is understood, that it will be so simplistic that it will account for why the formula for gravity has been overlooked for so long. Albert Einstein. With that thought in mind, again, you have copy, liberal copyrights to copy, copy, copy and repost this video. And uh, thank you for your time. And all my videos are legit. They're on the up and up. No trickery. And if you think they're trickery, somehow I'm still faking things, please don't come back. Alrighty. Again, this is James Running Staters uh, checking out for now. And uh, hopefully you're having a great day. And thank you for your interest. Take care. Bye-bye.